take two. All right, I've got a Samsung phone with one of these pencils in it. So I'm attempting to cover this settlement. And hopefully you'll be able to read it and I won't mess it up before this video ends. So F2F settlement. This is from my last week where I grossed $9,700. That was the, from the rate cons. And um, I want to look a little closer here. Some people wanted to see my deductions. And some people want to see how F2F does things. So uh, let me see. I'm learning people. So if this gets jittery. Sorry about that. I'm trying to figure this out on the on the go. So F2F settlements are really easy to figure out. They list each individual trip. And if you have if you use their fuel card, it lists the amount of fuel you bought during each trip. I like that a lot. So this trip, um, these are not in order, by the way, but uh, Louisiana to Mississippi, 300 miles. I negotiated that rate for $1,200. And F2F takes 20% and leaves me with $960. You guys with other companies that, you know, they, um, once you negotiate the rate, some other companies will set aside the FSC and give you 100% of that. Uh, spot market, this uh, rate right here is what F2F takes their percentage out of. There's They don't do the FSC stuff. So if you want more money for fuel, you better negotiate for more. It doesn't really matter to me. I, I negotiate for what I can get. And um, so if you do get fuel, and I think on this trip I just got deaf. Yeah. If you do get fuel, you know, this is what you're left with after the, your 80% is totaled. And... Once you get fuel, they subtract the fuel, and that's uh, what I made on that trip. Now, you know, I may have gotten fuel filled up right before this trip on the last one. So, I mean, it's, it could be a little bit de deceiving there, but I still like the way they separate it out, give you the loaded miles, the day you did it, and, um, you know, the, where it's coming to and from. Very easy to use and very, you know, when you go back, it's really easy to figure out. So... That's that's the way they list every single trip. Um, let's take a quick look at this one because this one's the one that started out the week on a good note. Oops. Like I said, I'm learning, folks. I'm learning. Okay. This one, um, as I do almost every week, uh, Thursday, I will look on the load boards for anything picking up on Friday that I just absolutely cannot pass up, um, that unicorn load. And that was this one. Went from Memphis, Tennessee to Iowa. Picked that up on a Friday and delivered it first thing Saturday morning. Gotta like that. 600 miles loaded, $3,500, almost $6 a mile. After F2F took their cut, I got $2,800. Ouch. Yeah, 20% uh, is a lot less than most companies, but still, uh, this week, um, F2F's cut from my check was nearly $2,000. So, uh, yeah, this was a good load. Obviously, I didn't fill up on that one, but uh, this is a good load to start the week. I want to show you one other one here. If I had ifs and buts, you know, but uh, if I had, if I were able to get this load in as it was supposed to be, then I would have been well over $10,000 for the week, but that's how things go. Uh, this load was a TQL load going from Michigan and it was supposed to go to Colorado, about a thousand miles. And TQL, who was the one I negotiated this one with, and they are just notorious for wanting to give everybody $2 a mile. Even on van loads, where you go and live load, they, they don't want to pay much. And they're one of the biggest companies out there, so they're trying to hold rates down. 
Um, but this one, I negotiated it up to $3,600, $3 a mile. And I was excited. And then when I got there, the trailer wasn't ready. And that's how things go. But I got a truck order not used. And they paid me $150. Bucks. F2F doesn't take any of that. And they also don't take any of your detention pay. So I got the, uh, the full 100% of that. But that's how things go. That one um, would have put me in a bad area anyway. And I probably wouldn't have been home for the weekend. But, you know, uh, would have been a, a giant check. So let's go on down here to the part that several people wanted to see. And... See if I can move on in here. Oops. Okay. Oop. Get a little closer, I think. These are my deductions. And obviously yours are not going to be the exact same as mine. I've got an old truck and I only valued it at $30,000. Um... It's prob that's probably uh, exactly what it's worth, if not a little less. But I figured that was fair to the insurance and fair to me if you know something happened to it. So, you know, the the less your truck is worth, the less insurance you're going to pay. All that good business. But anyway, here we go. So I get my pre pass through them, and it's three dollars and eighty eight cents a week. My, I get my plates to them, and I could save money and go down and get my own plates, which I will do here shortly. And uh, But they charge $52 a week. And my insurance, $31 a week. Uh, internet load board, which is truck stop, I believe. I pay. They get you a, a pretty good discount on that, so I pay about $14 a week. And then your owner operate... Uh, owner operator escrow which every company out there does just to cover their butts in case you quit and owe them fuel and tolls and all kinds of business that is fifty dollars a week and uh, i should have looked this up before i made this video but off the top of my head i cannot remember if it stops at fifteen hundred or two thousand but at some point they do stop taking that out and then my you know basically my workman's comp 129 dollars a week so Total of, get down here so you can see it a little clearer, 100 and $279 per week, um, which isn't too terrible. Let's get back to the main thing. Now this, uh, I haven't really paid much attention to this fuel incentive, but and I've never asked about it because my assumption is this is their discount on fuel. I don't know this for sure, but um, that's what I'm assuming. That's That would be my, my discount I got this week. But I need to ask about that. So... Zoom in on this here a little bit. Okay. So, after negotiating all my rate cons, the number, the gross number that was on my rate cons was $9,700. Now, that's not my gross necessarily. That would be my gross if I was under my own authority. But since F2F takes their 20%, my real gross is $7,750. So F2F got me for about $2,000, which is not bad considering most companies take close to 30%. In my, after... Uh, subtracting my deductions and then they add back in that fuel incentive I took home $6,123 that went in my pocket of course 
you know, my truck maintenance got in, and taxes have got to come out of there. But that is what went into my pocket uh, for that one particular week. Now, the week before this, I had actually a pretty good week, too. It was over $7,000. But this next week well, will be diddly because I, I only worked a couple of days last week. But that's what you can do when you have this freedom. So, um, let's see here. Uh, just so you can see, they keep track of your loaded miles. Let me zoom on in here a little bit. Okay, this is what they say my loaded miles were. 2,680 miles. Now, I reset my odometer every week when I leave the house. And I can tell you that um, I was already on the road when this week started. This week started on a Friday afternoon. So I think it was around, I picked up that first load uh, around 3 p.m., something like that. So this is a Friday to Friday. I was done and at sitting at my house before 3 p.m. the next Friday. So this is one seven-day work week. Um, so I added in 900 miles of deadhead on top of that. My odometer was over 3,600 miles. So basically 3,700 miles for that week. That's some terrible handwriting, but you get the picture. Deadhead miles, loaded miles, everything, $3,700. And the overall gross was 9,700. After F2F took their cut, I got 7,700. And then... After fuel, everything, I took home $6,100. Not terrible. And here we go. This is the their little escrow thing here. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. There's probably a much, much better way to do this, but I need to go to the YouTube University on how to use this phone. Okay, here's the escrow I was talking about. You know, every company does that. So, um, right now it's at 1,050, and like I said, I can't remember if it stops at 1,200, 1,500, 2,000. I cannot remember. But um, if you look on down here a little bit, let me see if I can. That's what I've made since I've been with F2F. Um, trying to remember now how long that's been. It's somewhere right around five months, four or five months. Um, I might have to do a video on that to get uh, exactly how much that, uh, how many weeks that is, and how much I've I've made per week. But Thinking it's a little under five months, but we'll we'll go through that some other time. But that's it. That's the that's the summary. That's the whole uh, F two F settlement. Very uh, sleek, very easy to read. Um, at one point, I was with a a company, took my settlement to my accountant, and she could not figure it out. And of course, somebody rings the doorbell. But uh, that's that.